The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today we read from uh, John chapter 5, verses 16 to 30. In this, Jesus uh, heals, has healed people and uh, spoken on the Sabbath, and the Jewish leaders begin to persecute him. Jesus, in his defence, says, My father is always at his work to this very day, and I'm working too. And there he's claiming that God is his own father, making himself equal to God. This was recognised by the uh, leaders around him, the Jewish leaders around him. And Jesus didn't back down. In fact, he doubled down on it. He began to say that uh, the, the father through the son is going to do even greater works than the ones you've seen. The father loves the son and shows him all that he does. Um, one day the son, uh, the the, son, the dead will rise at the voice of the Son of God. So Jesus here is really claiming and uh, underlining the fact that he and his Father have that relationship which no other human being has with God. And here we see the divinity of Jesus claimed by him, that divine character within him. And these words would have been the words of a madman were they not backed up by actions, actions in his character and actions in the miracles that he performed. This is John's message, that Jesus came, they saw in his character and in the miracles that he did, confirmation of the words that he spoke. In our life too, we find confirmation of the words that Jesus spoke as we put our trust in him. Our Father, we thank you for your son who came and showed us your character and demonstrated through works of power uh, that you had sent him to live among us. Emmanuel, God with us. We give you thanks in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>